Ederic's revulsion, also known as False King's War or the Rape War by some historians, was a military conflict within the Kingdom of Etrand that took place during the reign of King Bruant the Vachern of Etrand. In 718, King Calderbesh of Etrand died while his wife was pregnant. His only daughter, Muthala, took the throne, but her succession was contested by Calder's brothers, Kerlon, Sumner and Zulf which led to the Etrandish Succession War of 718, which ultimately ended with Muthala de Jura keeping her throne, while de facto political power would go to her new husband, Bruant, who was one of the main leaders of the Loyalist forces during the aforementioned civil war. It is generally believed that Calder's wife miscarried, never delivering a living boy. However, that didn't stop random claimants to the throne from popping up, claiming to be Calder's lost son. One such claimant was Ederic, who in 733 accused King Bruant of being a usurper, demanding the throne and threatening to organize a peasant rebellion when his demands were met with laughter. Ederic's threats of igniting the sparks of peasant rebellion would have been indeed just a laughable bluff, if not for a variety of other factors affecting the kingdom that allowed him to live up to his promise. Firstly, there had been a drought in many regions of Etran for the past two years, which had decimated crops and led to food shortages. Many peasants blamed King Bruant for this, as he had been trying to provide the cities with the necessary nourishment. They hoped that if Aderic, who had grown up as a peasant, was to become king, he would enact new laws in their favor. Secondly, King Bruant had recently enacted the anti-rape laws which completely banned the cultivation of rapeseed. This had a major impact on the lives of many peasants who relied on the cultivation of this crop as their main source of income. The king's enforcers were at times overzealous in enforcing these laws, with widespread accusations of burning down rapeseed fields and refusing to compensate the peasants for their financial losses. This led to widespread discontent among the peasantry, which was further exacerbated by the fact that some peasants, such as Gieri Murnald, had been physically abused by royal enforcers for publicly insulting the king for his anti-rapeseed hysteria. It was this discontent that Aderic sought to capitalize on when he emerged from obscurity, claiming to be the lost son of King Calder and amassing a peasant army with the intent of overthrowing King Bruant. Geri Murnald, who had suffered heavily due to the king's policies, used the remainder of his wealth to finance Erdrich's rebellion. Erdrich was able to rally support from peasants throughout the kingdom, many of whom were disillusioned with the current state of affairs and saw Erdrich as a symbol of hope and change.